Oh, in that I, I read your Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Um, I also read your. Half uh, it's not true. <laughs> I, Actually, I think my Wikipedia said that I had OCD. OCD. It does. Yeah, I was going to ask yeah. you about that. Yeah, which um, it's funny because I don't. I've suffered from anxiety for years and years and years. Actually, maybe I do have a little bit of that. <laughs> maybe I do. But maybe that's one of those I think things. I've, I think I'm like... getting a little bit as I'm older. But I remember being much younger and kind of going, why does it say I've got OCD on my, you know, on my, on my Wikipedia when I don't? I have never been clinically, you know, diagnosed with it. Um, and now I think that was sort of back in the day when um, we, it was something to be ashamed of almost. It was, it's weird. And um and uh, it's also just a lie really about you, and that's always going to be something that. Well, it just kind of, you know, I, I was certainly diagnosed with generalized anxiety, um, absolutely, and now I speak very openly about about it. Um, but it's just the fact that I didn't, I didn't have OCD. Why would they say I've got OCD? It's anyway, a very particular um, thing but, to pick um, too. Look, I think you know? actually maybe I, I think maybe I do a little bit now. Um, but I'm certainly nothing to be ashamed of and proud and very not proud, but you know, open, happily, openly. Um, talk, I talk about my anxiety, my generalized anxiety, all the time. Well, well, let's um, go, let's go but, into yeah. that a bit now. Like what? But there's others. Yeah, yes. Let, let, yeah. Let's go into that a little bit now, just in terms of. Uh, like when, how did that manifest for you? And then what have you done since then to help uh, manage it? Because I, like I know I've dealt with, had to deal with it as well myself. My um, Amy uh, has mm. to have had to as well. So it's a real thing that is quite common mm. in uh, the general population, but it, it does have that taboo Absolutely. thing about it. So the more we talk about it, I think the better. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I mean, certainly less, na- less nowadays. Um I started getting terrible panic attacks at the age of 15 um, and I was working on Home and Away, uh, so, yeah, Home and Away at the time. And um, I, um, oh, I was put on some medication, I think, for my skin and it was making me feel a bit dizzy. And, you know, this one particular day I was actually um, doing a big day of filming with Guy Pearce and, um, and then we went and did – it was a very big day and we went and did publicity afterwards, a big photo shoot, and then we went and had dinner afterwards with our publicist and and it just it all just built up during the day and I had this big, massive panic attack mm. and basically ran down to St Vincent's Hospital in Darlinghurst in Sydney um, and ended up having, you know, two weeks off. And, um, and anyway, so it sort of started from there and, and – um, over the years, I've you know, oh gosh, I mean, I've tried. Uh, over the years, I tried absolutely everything um, from, you know, therapies to just everything except for medication. Um, but I think I did a clinical um, clinical hypnotherapy once, and that 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 actually worked. For what was a that while. experience like? Um, because it's well, I just fell asleep every every session. It was really <laughs> strange. Um, <laughs> But I was about to do a play. See, this is the problem with anxiety, um, and especially quite um, debilitating for an actor, um, because I, I was so nervous. I was so nervous um, getting up and, and making speeches, or, or getting mm. up and doing live things, or doing theatre, that it stopped me. I turned down so much work. Um, you know, I, I turned down opportunities. Um, overseas, you know, I, I turned down so much because I was just, my anxiety was quite mm. crippling. Um, and I just think over the years I've learned to control it. I think, um, uh, you know, oh, I've certainly had times, especially like after giving birth, my anxiety, was, you know, was terrible. And um, um, But actually it, was one, it wasn't until I finally got this job um, which I knew moving from Sydney to Melbourne was going to be a massive deal, was when my GP, who's known me since I was 15, finally said, look, I think it's time, you know, you consider maybe going on some medication, um, which I did. And, um, you know, it's I still take the medication. I've tried to wean myself off it, but more trouble than it really sort of is. Um, and from the majority of medical professional professions, I know um, professionals have all just said you may as well just stay stay on your low dosage. So I kind of have, and my anxiety has been amazing. But I think I've learned to control it. You know, yeah. if I ever feel um, like a, a panic attack coming on, which is very rare nowadays, um, I just know 
I know what it is. Whereas when I was younger, even though I knew what it is, it was all that awful um, feeling. I, 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 I would know what it is, but I wouldn't be able to control the knowing what it was. It would just overtake and I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm dying. And, you know, um, and I think a lot of people who suffer from panic attacks and anxiety um, would understand that, that awful feeling yeah. of, yeah, you know, this is a panic attack. You know, you're having, you know, an awful, awful panic attack. But um, yeah, because for me, it uh, sort of comes up in a way of like, I get this, this weird feeling of wanting to run away and I don't know, like there's no specific mm. place. It's just it's the flight or it's just fear, fear wanting to not be yeah. where I am currently. It doesn't matter where I go. I still have that feeling, but that's kind of what it is of, of just mm. not wanting to be here. Yeah, it's awful here. feeling. Um, yeah. So let's, let's. I feel like I'm dying, like oh, yeah. I'm going to die. But, well, um, people can have but really yeah, severe so I, don't know, I don't know how we started talking about that. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm going to um, lead you down some yeah, paths. Yeah, it's uh, but... very common, very common, and very common in our industry yeah. too. Um, but, you know, I mean, in, yeah, it's, it's in the wide, wider community. A lot of people suffer. But it, um, at least now, the, the thing about me is that when, after I had that incident, I had a family member say, don't ever, ever talk about it. Don't ever tell wow. the press. Don't ever tell people that you work with that you suffer from anxiety. You will never get work. So I was made to feel ashamed of yeah. it. And um, and now, you know, I mean, now things have changed so much. People, we talk about mental health all the time. Now I'm, I'm very open about it. I'll, I'll tell anyone, yeah, I take an antidepressant, a mild antidepressant for my anxiety. Yes. You know, like I'm very open about it. Um, whereas I was made to feel ashamed of it. So it's kind of good that that it's talked about a little bit more nowadays, and and um, the, you know the the health the governments you know sort of have taken that you know like mental plan packages and all that. Sort yeah, of absolutely. I mean, I was asthmatic, so like good. a severe asthmatic growing up, and I take took medication every day for that. But that was never something to you know be ashamed of. And mm. this is the same thing, you know, at the end of the day. So, yeah, um, exactly. So thank you for talking about exactly. it because uh, there's a whole bunch of people That's in the chat, right. you know, uh, talking about themselves and how. Um, what anxiety issues they have and um yeah. so you know there's plenty of people out there hello and thank you for watching this tech talks clip if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you want to see the full conversation click here if you want to see all of the tech talk clips click here and if you want to see all of the tech talk conversations click here